How you doing YouTube? How you doing YouTube? Well, it's spring finally. My favorite time of year anymore. And uh, I gotta do tests here. I'm gonna test my solar and see if I can use it to recharge that uh, Harbor Freight Sentec power pack. Uh, these are a really good uh, budget option to get into uh, basically like a solar generator. Um, they have 17 amp hour batteries in them, which is good. They're well built, durable. Uh, they already have two 12 volt sockets, a USB, and uh, of course it's a, a jump starter. This one does not have the compressor. And we got a few other things to test, but uh, let's test that first. And uh, for the test today with the solar, I'm going to be using my talent cell 24 watt solar panel this is my favorite uh, it has this mesh it has straps to hold everything in place it does two five volts and that's right that's DC also the claims of course that's intelligent five volt you know it gives the charge to whatever it needs the DC actually has a built-in charge controller. It says it will charge all 12 volt batteries. So, it's a fantastic little system. Now I'm gonna get it all set up. I'm going to try. I have this cigarette lighter output. If it's possible, I'm going to see if I can charge through one of these. Now the problem I have is that the battery test, now you can see, hopefully it's on the yellow, so it needs charged. I'm assuming I'm going to see that flash, just like when it's charging, but I don't know for sure. Uh, it may charge and I don't know it. I may not get enough volts to charge it. But certainly there's enough volts on this uh, solar panel to charge it. I think it's 15. <clears throat> I know it's enough. So in goes the connector pin. Do that again. It's just a barrel plug. <clears throat> a barrel plug there. And it goes right in there. Now I'm going to set the panel up. Okay, so here's the panels. They're uh, the new efficient style. <clears throat> up to 23% efficient monocrystalline definitely getting a solid charge see that uh, light right there getting a solid charge not flashing nothing's wrong with the connection the solar charger is telling me it's okay now here's what's interesting so I plugged this in All right. and if you remember it was on the yellow why don't I test it? Uh -oh. well, now I'm not getting... There, wait, there it was. Wait, can, I can't see it in the light, maybe? Yeah, the camera's not picking it up. Anyway, it was yellow, right? <clears throat> well, now... Boy, that's hard to see, huh? There, there you go. It's green. Look. Man, I just can't... There we go. Now it went green. It went green. And now, let me unplug the solar panel. still showing green and now it's still green so now my question is <laughs> did I screw something up or did that solar panel using a direct DC current just charge this back up to where it was happy that quickly maybe it wasn't down that much it's a problem with these dummy lights you can never be sure no yet I don't have a tester I did have a uh, multimeter or multimeter I mean and um, I must have set it up wrong because I kind of made some sparks <laughs> okay well now let's see if this still works uh, so now what I'm going to do is dig into my theater in a box which I'll do in a different video and uh, see if I can power a 12 volt projector 
uh, from this new adapter that I got. Be right back. This is my YG310 projector. It uh, has the capability to use 5 volts, 12 volts, and it has an internal battery. There's a switch on it somewhere. Yeah, the switch right there. It has an internal battery that works at 7.2 volts. Uh, so I'm going to attempt to run a cigarette 12 volt and it should be fine because that's 12 volts this is 12 volts the um, <clears throat> wall ward it comes with is not a converter it's uh, it's just 12 volts so it should be perfectly acceptable okay now we're gonna plug this in and see if we can't get it to work or blow it up and hopefully the fuse will do it and not the projector We'll find out. Okay, and I'm not sure if you can see that. Uh, but the little red light is on. So it's working. See? And it's, it's still showing full. You can't see it at all on camera. So now I'm going to plug this in. I'm going to do this one handed. Alright. It's in. Uh, let's see if it turns on. I don't know if it. remember if there's a light on this one or not uh, just a minute uh, well sadly that doesn't work that's a real disappointment if I have to go back to having to use an inverter to run this at 24 watts that really takes the steam out of what I was going for uh, darn but uh, I'll come back to it if I discover a way around it. In the meantime, what have we learned? The solar panel might. Okay, it's back on yellow there now. Let's try the solar panel one more time. Okay. And I'm going to keep it on this time. So I'm going to unplug this. And... and I'm choosing the left side because seems to have the most success Let's see if it changes there it just changed to green did you see that it went from yellow to green you can't see it on camera but the green lit up so I feel like it is definitely doing something the problem is I don't know what now again that solar panel made by talent cell does claim to have a charge controller in it with all the protections that you need all your over and under protections okay I'll do maybe some more information on it at some point if this is in fact charging and if I could get a voltmeter at some point to know it's actually charging and to see what the volts are at um, I think you have an absolute basic solar generator type set now I don't believe I'd be able to run anything off the 12 volt while that other 12 volts in there because <clears throat> it's currently charging the battery apparently due to the fact that the battery tester went from yellow to green and I've noticed too if I plug my inverter directly in there and I'll, I'll get to that in a second here it goes right to yellow so let's pop the solar panel out Okay, it's still on green. Hey, we're learning together. I don't know either. And let's get my crappy. And this is by Harbor Freight. This is a uh, 80 watt inverter. This isn't just modified sign. This is 
like unattempted sign. It's very inefficient. It fits nicely though, as you can see, in the unit, which is why I picked that one. And I am getting a green signal, so I have power. <clears throat> and now we're gonna actually plug the projector in properly with its, All right, there must be something. Well, see, that is a different looking plug. So perhaps the barrel end I'm using is wrong. Let me try that again. So yeah, maybe as you can tell, 